Okay, I've prepared three questions for you involving exponential equations where x is in the exponent and is, is part of the index. Yeah? And I've shown you in the previous video how to approach these questions. The first one, 2 to the power x plus 1, yeah, then I have to rewrite by other side also with something with a base of 2. Those bases have to be the same. Now 8 is 2 to the power 2 times 2 times 2 to the power 3. Yeah, so I have manipulated the question. Let me just write there x plus 1. Uh, probably should have some brackets there. So 2 to the power x plus 1 is the same as 2 to the power 3. And then I can compare those indices and conclude that, okay, well in that case x plus 1 has to equal 3. Uh, so x plus 1 equals 3. And x then equals 2, which is 3 minus 1. So the answer will be x is 2. And if I substitute that in the original exponential equation, so 2 to the power 2 plus 1, which is 3 to the power 3, indeed is 8. Next one, 5 to the power x equals 125. And I know that I have to rewrite that as something of 5 to the power, because the base have to be the same, 5, 25, 125, so 3. The answer then, therefore, x equals 3. Last one, perhaps a little bit more challenging for some, but please uh, don't be overly intimidated by it, it's not necessary. A 4 and a 16 exponential equation. Let's write 16 as 16 to the power minus 1. Agree? Yeah, because I turn around the index, uh, the 1 becomes a negative now. I'm going to continue here, so 4 to the power minus x equals yeah, 4 to the power minus 2. Agree? Alright. Minus x therefore is minus 2. The answer x then equals 2. Uh, there are more ways to solve that particular problem. I could have turned this into a fraction, but you'll get the same answer. x will equal 2. Because 4 to the power minus 2. Yeah, if you want to check your answer. So I substitute my answer for x. 4 to the power minus 2. That is the same as 1 over 4 to the power 2, which is 1 over 16. All right. I hope that was useful. Those were the indices, algebraic indices. We've done the three laws. We've looked at negative indices. We have looked at fractional indices. We have looked at the zero index. We have done so much. I'm proud of you. I'll see you at the next topic. Have a good day.